Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.3 from the chapter number 3. In this problem, we are referred to a figure 4.33 inside section 4.11 that is inside the chapter. In the section 4.11, we have a figure 4.33. This figure I have drawn here. Okay, this figure. Then we have to find out the four outputs. These are the y0, y1, y2 and y3 in terms of input variable. That means we have to write the output functions y0, y1, y2 and y3 in terms of the input variables a0 to a3 and b0 to b3. Okay. And the select line S and the enable. In the second part of the question, we are asked about how many rows will be there and how many columns will be there in the table. Now let us solve this problem. Okay. In the first part of the problem, Okay, so this is the figure number 4.33 inside the chapter. So from this, first of all, we have to find out the expressions for y0, y1, y2, and y3. From this figure, we can see that for, for these and gets one input are, is the given a0, a1, a2, and a3. These are the given inputs. And the second one input is the inverted select input. That means here we have s bar. And the third input is the enable inverted line. This is the enable e. And we have inverted here so we'll have enable inverted okay so for the output of this four gets suppose if we represent this a0 a1 a2 a3 with ai okay if we represent it with ai then we have to multiply it with s complement this is the s complement here okay it is multiplied with this s complement so let us write it so s complement ai we can write it as s complement ai for this and gets the third input e complement that is enable complement is multiplied with all these gates okay we will multiply this enable complement okay with this one and secondly we have to add these out four outputs with the outputs from these four NAND gates sorry and we have to add these four outputs with the outputs of this below four and gets and similarly here also we can see that we have four inputs b0 b1 b2 and b3 here we will represent it with bi okay and it is multiplied with s s complement and here we will get s okay so it is multiplied with s itself now we can see that the output of this and gates are respectively added with the outputs of this this first and get output is added with the first output of this b inputs okay and we have got the y0 okay see therefore we can write it as y i so here i is 0 1 2 and 3 here you can see that 0 1 2 and 3 here also 0 1 2 and 3 okay so this is the expression this is the generalized expression for this outputs y0 y1 so if we wish to find out this y0 okay from this expression this is the generalized expression for this outputs y0 y1 and y2 and y3 okay now if we try to find out y0 so what we'll get that means i is 0 so we'll have e complement will be as it is s complement is also as it is so a i will be a0 plus s b0 so this is the y0 output so for y1 we'll get e complement whole into s complement into a1 plus s b1 similarly y2 equal to so these are the four outputs okay so this is the solution of the first part of the problem in the first part of the problem we have to find out the outputs in terms of input variables so we have written here the outputs y0 y1 y2 and y3 in terms of these input variables now we have to find out the number of rows and columns if we want to make a truth table of this figure so for finding out the number of rows we have to see the number of inputs here we can see that one two three four five six seven eight okay and nine and ten we have select and enable inputs also okay so here we can see that we have four plus four eight and nine ten we have ten number of inputs okay so how many rows will have so for part b here we have 10 variables so we'll, this implies we'll have 2 to the power 10 number of lines okay 
or number of rows therefore 1 0 2 4 rows this lines means rows here okay so we have 2 to the power 10 or 1 0 2 4 rows okay now in the second part of the problem we have to find out the number of columns so for finding out the number of columns we can see that we have eight number of inputs a0 a1 a2 a3 and four inputs for b b0 b1 b2 and b3 so we have eight number of input variables so directly we will have eight number of columns okay then we can see that we have this select line so another column for this select line and another column for this enable line so we have total 8 plus 2 equal to 10 number of columns okay then we can see that we have four outputs okay so one column for each output we will have 10 plus 4 is equal to 14 number of columns therefore we have 14 number of columns this is the solution of this problem number 4.3 okay thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you